Hello, my name is Miss 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 Gurry, and today I am very very upset because I just heard that George Zimmerman got released from the federal prison. You guys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Do you hear me? You all ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Releasing that man from prison after he killed that young man. You guys ought to be ashamed. Because let me tell you something. When he was on the phone. No, 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 no. Let, let me tell the world something. When he was on that phone, the police specifically told him not to follow that boy. But guess what he did? He sat up there and he followed that boy regardless of what that officer said. He ought to be in federal prison right now. Protecting his virginity for what he did. Because they ought to be a shame for letting that man go. Do you all hear me? He ought to be a shame. They ought to be ashamed for letting that man go. That boy had a long life ahead of him. He was minding his own business. He stalked that boy and he killed him cold-blooded. And let me tell you something, Zimmerman. No, 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 no. Let, let me, let, let me tell you something, Zimmerman, George Zimby. You think this is over, don't you? Hmm? You think this is over, don't you? Hmm? Well, let me tell you something, brother. Your hand-me-down stopped right here. You sat up there, and you did that to that, and you did that to that little boy. That boy was 17 years old. He was minding his own business. Do you all hear me? He was minding his own business. And you sat up there and you did what you did to that little boy. And get a different haircut because you're not cute. You think, Zimmerman, you think you're cute, but you are not. You never will have, you never will be, you never have been. You are ugly. And honestly, you think just because you lost eight pounds... You think just because you lost eight pounds that you're cute now? And you think because you got away with murder, you're cute? Well, let me tell you something, brother. You are not cute. You are not cute. Let me tell you something. You are not cute. Because what you did to that young man was beyond evil. And let me tell you something. How's it going to feel going to the store and having to watch your back? How is it going to feel not being able to go out of the house without being bun rushed by paparazzi, huh? How is it going to feel living with killing that young man? Didn't even have enough respect for Trayvon Martin to say I'm sorry. Killing that boy over some Skittles. Spell Skittles. You can't, can't you? Because you're too busy taking them from people. Taking skittles from young men. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Zimmerman. I hope you don't think that you're safe now because I promise you you're not. There is a loud, noisy world out there. And there are a lot of people out there who hate your stinking, musty guts because of what you did. And that is my message. And that is my thoughts on George Zimmerman. I promise what you did was not cute. You think it was cute, but it wasn't. You fake you 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 fake neighborhood patrol. That boy was minding his own business. You had no right for you to do what you did. Goodbye. I'm done with the Zimmerman thing. But let me tell you let me tell you something, Zimmerman. You are not cute. What you did to that young man wasn't cute. And you're not going to get away with it. Because let me tell you something. God does not like, God does not like ugly. Goodbye, Zimmerman. Thinking you're so cute because you lost eight pounds. Lose about eight more pounds, then you'll be close to being cute. Lose about 40 more pounds, you fat lump of nothing.